So ever since we stumbled upon the toilet paper carbon source for antique muzzle-loading propellant a month or so ago, I've gotten all kind of requests to try all kind of other things. You name it. Everything from cardboard to leather to cotton. And cotton was one that I've gotten over and over again, so that's what we're going to try. Now, I had a lot of folks say that I should use just a plain cotton t-shirt or denim jeans, but I wanted to try to go with something that I thought might be a little bit more pure, and so I decided to just use cotton balls. Now, I ordered these on Amazon, and they do not weigh very much, so I ended up getting three of them, and I needed all three. Now, typically, when I do test batches of powder, I make 200 grams. For a test batch, 200 grams is a pretty good amount for tests. I find if you use 100 grams after you mill it and compress it and puck it and sort, sort it by size, sometimes you don't really get enough of whatever size it is you're shooting for. So I go with 200 grams. I've gotten a lot of new folks over the last month from that video, about 10,000 subscribers. Uh, that have asked me all kind of questions about going over the entire process, start to finish, of making sporting powder, uh, which I'm going to do. I'm going to do a whole updated video on making sporting black powder. Uh, because the two videos I have on that topic are from about three years ago, when I was just getting started. And there are few things that I still do the same compared to now. So it needs to, we need to do an updated video on that anyway. But let me try and give you the short version. All of the powders that I test, the ratios are 77, 13, 10. That's 77 parts potassium nitrate, 13 parts charcoal, 10 parts sulfur, unless otherwise stated or noted. All of the tests are run through my Kibler Southern Mountain Rifle using 50 grains of 3F regardless of whatever kind of powder it is, it's 3F size, a 0 .40 Hornady swaged round ball, a 20 thousandths pillow ticking patch, and all of my shots are primed with the same powder that they're charged with. All of my tests are done that way. I compress my powder to between 1.7 and 1.8 grams per cubic centimeter to match what the commercial grades are. So I hope that uh, clarifies some stuff for the new people. Uh, again, I'll do a whole long video on all of that other stuff. So making the charcoal the way I've been doing it lately, and this is how I've done all of my charcoal for a while now. It's uh, easy to do in the fall and the winter. In the summer, it's a little bit more tricky. But I take my paint can with the hole in it. I pour whatever it is in there. And I throw it in my wood stove at night, and I leave it there till the next morning, and presto, you have charcoal. So, with all that being said, I hope that clarifies some things. So, here's how the cotton performed. All right, so here's our uh, cotton ball powder. Oh, cotton ball. <coughs> cotton ball. How many cotton tails do you have to take off there? Well, I can tell you it took three giant bags of cotton balls to make uh, 300 grams of powder. Oh my. So it's, uh, it's not exactly uh, efficient. Wow. 1730. There we go. Now we gotta get you sponsored by Charmin. <laughs> <laughs> I tell people all the time, I don't accept sponsorships because if all of a sudden Charmin goes to hell, I don't want to still have to stump for him. Okay. <clears throat> all right, shot number two with the cotton. Seventeen eighty eight. There we go. All right, shot number three with the cotton. What the hell? A 
That's odd. Yeah. And that never happens. Not with this gun. Yeah, that's happened to me. Oh, that happens to you, just not with this gun. Okay. Let's try that again. Shot number three with the cotton. Seventeen eighty one. All right. Well, not as clean as the toilet paper stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah. The other stuff, I was loading four shots, no problem. This stuff's starting to get hard. All right, shot number four. Seventeen eighty two. Wow, it is fast. Yeah, it is. It is fast. That is not as clean as the toilet paper stuff. Looks like Goex. Yeah, it feels like it because the fourth shot was getting kind of, kind of tough to load. Yeah. But uh, that does not seem to be as clean. Mm -mm. So here is our cotton ball swab after four shots. So let's see how we did. Our cotton ball powder averaged 1,770 feet per second with a max spread of 58 and delivers 973 foot-pounds of energy. Overall, pretty good. It beats GoX by over 100 feet per second and just barely ties Swiss. Swiss averages 1,783. We got 1,770. Pretty damn close. The problem is it's not as clean as Swiss. It's cleaner than GoX, just a little bit, but not as clean as Swiss, but it is faster than GoX. I don't want to say I'm a little disappointed, but I had higher hopes for the cotton. And the reason why is because with the balsa charcoal, it takes a tremendous amount of volume to equal the 26 grams of charcoal that I would use for a test batch, for a 200 gram test batch. It takes a lot of volume. And the cotton ball was the same deal. It took three bags of those cotton balls to make 26 grams of charcoal for a 200 gram batch of powder. And I was thinking, incorrectly, apparently, that the lighter, fluffier charcoal like balsa would perform better and be cleaner because the balsa is exceptionally clean, even cleaner than Swiss. And the cotton ball wasn't that clean. It was still cleaner than GoX, but not as clean as Swiss. So overall, it performed very, very well. I was just hoping it would be a little bit cleaner. Now, the last one we did was the Quilted Northern toilet paper powder, which is a little faster, but it had a wider spread, but was very, very dirty. It had this really funky yellow fouling and was just really, yeah, well, it was just downright gross. Um, so if I had to choose between the Quilted Northern and the Cotton Ball, I'd take Cotton Ball any day. Still, so far, the Cottonelle toilet paper beats all of them. The Cottonelle toilet paper, and I've said this in the last video, I'll say it again, performs exactly like Swiss. It, it performs exactly like Swiss. It's just as clean. It's just as powerful, actually just a little bit more powerful. And it hits in the same spot with that rifle. So for all intent and purpose, it is Swiss black powder. Except it's just a little faster. So take that, Swiss. So overall, the cotton ball performed very, very well. I find that I 
often will poke fun at GoX, and I might talk down to GoX. But I think I'm just getting to the point where I'm uh, spoiled. I can make powder that is basically the exact same quality, if not a little bit better, than Swiss. So anytime I get something that reminds me of GoX, it's... It, it, you disgust me. Look, if you like GoX and you use it, that's fine. Keep on doing that. The way I look at it is simply this. If I'm going to go through the trouble of having to buy powder, I might as well buy powder that's the best I can, I can get. Because I can make powder all day long that is better and cleaner than GoX. And now I can make powder easily, comfortably cheap, that is exactly like Swiss. The issue with the cotton ball powder is the price. And this is the same issue with the balsa is, I think it was $12 for those three bags of cotton. And that makes almost a half a pound of powder. I did have a little bit of cotton balls left. So probably, you probably wouldn't need six, probably five, maybe five bags of cotton ball cotton balls would do it to make a pound. But now your pound of powder that you can make for $5, four or five dollars, is now $25. Well, now you could just about go buy Schutzen or Gohex. So that's a downfall with the cotton. Also, it's not as clean. The toilet paper still wins as far as everything we've tried. The cotton L toilet paper wins. I've had a lot of questions from folks on how much, how many rolls or how much toilet paper does it take to make a pound? One roll of Cottonelle toilet paper makes 26 grams of charcoal. I don't know how much it weighs beforehand, but one roll is 26 grams of charcoal. And of course, that's without the cardboard tube. Holy cow, I've gotten so many comments from people saying, you should have removed the cardboard tube. How come you didn't remove the cardboard tube? I, I mentioned that in the video. I even showed it next to it. Like, oh, where was I? So yeah, a finished charred roll of toilet paper without the cardboard tube is a little over 26 grams. It's enough to do 200 grams of powder. So basically, if you want to do a pound, you need a little over two rolls of Cottonelle toilet paper. It's about a buck a roll. I think we did the math. It was 94 cents a roll. So your four or five dollar pound of powder is a six or seven dollar pound of powder. Still best bang for your buck, cleanest and most powerful carbon source for char uh, uh, antique muzzle loading propellant. As for the cotton ball, worked out well, just too expensive and not clean enough. So the next one we have is the carbon black or lamp black. And that one's going to be really interesting because a lot of the chemists and tech weenies have been asking about that one. And so I finally went and did it. And it, um, it, it was interesting to say the least. So, as usual, folks, if you thought this video didn't suck, do me a favor and hit the like button, consider subscribing, and if you did think it sucked, go make your own damn video.